eyes express the feelings of the heart, mind and soul. It shows love, calmness, anger, sadness, happiness and so forth. If a baby is deprived of this, either due to neglect, ignorance or lack of medical advice, it is our duty as responsible doctors to spread awareness to the general public, especially in our country to the rural villages, to dispose of myths, superstitions, calm fears and instill in them the importance of ROP. ROP, the abbreviation of retinopathy of prematurity, is the major cause of blindness in babies who are either born prematurely or are underweight. Retinopathy of prematurity or ROP is a disease which affects the uh, which can affect the vision of preterm babies. Lower the gestational age and lower the birth weight of a child, higher the risk of this disease. To detect this disease, screening has to be started within one month after the child's birth. And screening has to be done by an ophthalmologist who has to be trained in it. The reason for this detrimental disease is the abnormal growth of blood vessels in an infant's eye. Blood vessels generally grow from the central part of the retina outwards. This process is usually completed before the normal time of delivery, 280 days or 40 weeks of gestation. However, in premature babies with low birth weight, the growth of blood vessels is incomplete and the vessels grow and branch abnormally. The incidence of ROP in India is between 38 and 51.9% and it is as high as 80 to 100% in infants weighing less than 900 grams at birth or with a gestational age of less than 25 weeks. According to World Health Organization, India has the highest number of preterm deliveries in the entire world. So we have a huge burden to do the screening for this uh, disease. Moreover, there are not many trained ophthalmologists who can handle this especially in rural areas where the government of India has started SNCUs in every district hospital. The paradox being that with improved NICU care, the incidence of ROP has in fact increased. Unfortunately, there is no proportionate increase in awareness among the medical fraternity in a vast country like India. In the absence of an effective strategy, an increasing number of babies who could have been successfully managed are going irreversibly blind. The socio-economic burden of such childhood blindness is immense. To counter this pathetic situation, Arvind Eye Care System is working on a strategy to extend their helping hand to babies who are born prematurely in government hospitals as well as to their parents. This project, termed ROPE SOS, Retinopathy of Prematurity Eradication, Save Our Sight, involves telescreening. Here, a mobile team of trained technicians and sisters visit government hospitals to screen premature babies with a birth weight of less than or equal to 2000 grams or a gestational age of less than or equal to 36 weeks. Babies with severe illnesses in perinatal period like RDS, sepsis, apneic episodes, etc. will be also covered. The retina fundus pictures will be captured by the red cam machine and the same will be immediately transmitted via broadband internet 
to the base hospital and the qualified pediatric retinal ophthalmologist will report the case and a report will be given to the patient at the rural site. Special care would be taken to follow the 30 day strategy in which the retinal examination would be completed at or before 30 days of life of the baby. Arvind's Rope SOS team would take extra care to educate the parents of the patients about the required treatments in order to reduce the chances of unfavorable disease or loss of vision. Milder forms of ROP may require only close observation and may resolve on its own without any active intervention. Depending on the severity, medical treatments in the form of lasers, intravitreal anti-VEGF injections may be needed up to stage 3. Surgical intervention would be advised and carried out once the disease crosses stage 4 and 5. The parents will also be advised about lifelong follow-up and rehabilitation that is required after the initial treatment. All premature babies, irrespective of having ROP, are advised yearly follow-ups till the age of 5 years to rule out other sequelae of premature infants like refractive errors, strabismus, amblyopia or lazy eye, retinal detachment, glaucoma, etc. All treatment is being carried out free of cost by the Arvind Eye Care System. Apart from this, Rope SOS also has awareness CMEs in various districts at regular intervals to educate not only the local doctors, pediatricians and ICU staff, but also the relatives of patients and the general public. Timely treatment can save this child from going, children going from uh, permanently blind. And so there is a need of increasing the awareness of this disease, especially amongst the, the, uh, the general public, the mothers, the uh, pediatricians, ophthalmologists and the neonatal nurses. <laughs> So, as responsible citizens of our country, we have to ensure that eyesight is our birthright and that every young future citizen has the right to see our beautiful world. We have to unite, spread awareness globally and see that prompt, timely referrals are made and appropriate actions are thus warranted. Join hands with Arvind's Rope SOS team in their mission to eliminate this cause of needless blindness. As volunteers, refer premature babies to the Pediatric Retinal Specialist at Arvindai Hospital Coimbatore or easier still, ROP telescreening at gmail.com. Let every little eye shine with love, happiness and joy. <laughs>